Now, what is it about this technology that they're not willing to accept in Canada and the U.S.? Yeah, it's really it's really confusing when you understand their position, which generally the regulatory bodies in the U.S. and Canada's position surrounds this idea that it's uh, you know counterproductive to society that we have they they think we have these baby farms where we're you know aborting children and taking their and, and that's just not not true at all. We do use what are called allogenic cells or donor cells, and they come from a successful birth, meaning that mama and baby have to be okay. And then the mother donates the cord and placenta to us, which we then test extensively, send it out to a third party to test. And once we agree that the material is good, then it comes in and, and to our lab, and then it's grown into an army to be you know, injected into folks and to help them to try to recover from whatever. But to, an- sorry, to answer your question directly, uh, you know, when you look, all you have to do is look at the board of the FDA, right? They're all big farm executives. That's, you know, big pharma controls, you know, the medical narrative in the U.S. 